The Crazy Ones Review TV, Robin Williams, Sarah Michelle Geller, September 28th, 2013. This show's probably going to laugh. There was one really funny moment when Robin Williams was channeling the Native American from Dancing with Wolves, which is a 25-year uh, joke, but for some reason the way he did it was very, very, very funny. Uh, it's interesting to see Bob Benson from Mad Men, who is one of the, I guess, the third third lead on this show playing another advertising executive but in this way in this sort of world the advertising executives are heroes and they're doing good for mankind and uh so bob benson playing advertising executive on mad men who's really not been bob benson but is the new upcoming don draper in many ways the secret identity whatnot and now he's he's bob benson uh, the advertising executive who has all kinds of talent and sleeps with women because it furthers his career and helps out the agency. Plus, they're doing good things, like I said, where the concept of this pilot was that McDonald's is their big uh, clients, just like Lucky Strike and Madden Man. And they need to keep this client, so they have to come up with a concept about doing the good thing for family values and being good for family values and it, how what Robin Williams' his zany craziness is actually doing good for mankind because they're they're actually doing the, what they're advertising and they're showing the nation of some good things, which is a load of fucking bullshit. And uh, it's like the it's like very much the bizarro. It really is the bizarro madman. And you have Bob Benson who's playing the same character but this one has a comedic zen to it and he's straight and whereas madman he's gay but it's bizarro madman you got you got robin williams who can't stop talking you got john draper who really doesn't like to talk you got peggy olsen who is like idealistic and, w and wants to search for the, the the moral soul of humanity then you got sarah michelle geller who who is whatever she just seems to be doing a, a lot of like uh do i love my father or not love my father which is a cliche in comedy terms but you know what the show's gonna last because robin williams is gonna get have a lot of freedom to do his zany acts and it's just interesting to have the, him kind of the tail end of his career back on television I, I heard he needs the money that's why he's doing it and uh but let's let's lay low on the advertising is good concept and little jingles and like doing a McDonald's jingles jingles about hamburgers and family is is good for the for the for the United States it's the bizarro madman like I said but let's like uh let's calm down a little bit on that one and especially a big corporation like McDonald's which is worth a zillion dollars and probably does more harm than good and not like they they, they set out to do harm but through osmosis they probably are doing harm so I don't know what this show is trying to tell us but Robin Williams does have some funny bits in it, and it's good to see Bob Benson playing Bob Benson in the comedic role. That's my two cents.